morning, Forest. I'm Sam Wilbur. Today's date is Monday, October 21st, and you're watching WCAT. Today is the start of the second quarter, so make sure you are on your A game for your academics. Homecoming tickets are not on sale right now, but they will be back on sale on the 28th. If you have not gotten your ticket, make sure you do so then. There is an event featuring six of our own FHS Corral students at Ocala Civic Theater this weekend. These students include Stash and Gordon, Harlem Nation, Ayana Oates, Caitlin Nass, Aaron Lowe, and Maya Smith. It's a Halloween cabaret entitled McCabaret. And it is kid friendly and fun with lots of surprises and fun songs and scenes to get you in the Halloween spirit. Treats will be served and you can bring the whole family. For more information, visit the Ocala Civic Theater website. Also, students, a quick reminder that if you need school supplies or clothes, The Rock is here to help. Students, stop by on Mondays, Wednesdays, or Fridays from 8 to 8.30 a.m. They got you covered. Now, on our sports news. Congratulations to the cross country team. The team competed in the county meet on Saturday. Jordan McLean took first place overall in the girls' race, with Jordan defending her county title running a 19 flat. Libby Denisha also placed in the top 10 as the girls' team came in the second in the county. Congratulations to Zach Vickerman, who broke the top 10 on the boys' side. The team will be on, will be on to the district championship in two weeks. Students, if you haven't already, make sure you buy your parking passes because the administration will be looking for those. Go to the front office or discipline in order to pick up a parking pass form. That's all the news we have for you today, Wildcats. To stay updated on all things Forest, make sure to follow us at FHS underscore WCAT on all of our social medias, such as YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, X, and Threads. Once again, I'm Sam. Thanks for tuning in, and like always, go Cats. So that's too fast.